<laughs> You're not going to get as sick, are you? Nah, probably. <laughs> Everybody else, I think that's why you want me to sit by you. I'd sit. <laughs> I'm always sick. How they bounce back. We've been asking that a lot. Then we got to stop turning the ball over. I mean, we talked all week on the Texas Tech. We can't turn the ball over, can't throw it to them. We did. We didn't defend. We didn't rebound. No, we just kind of laid it down. Teams have traditionally been good on the road. This year they've not been very good. Is that because you've got young, experienced guys, no leaders, not enough leaders? I don't think it's a young, experienced guy. I mean, we're, 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 we're struggling at the guard position. We turn it over to us there, but our front line has been there and done that multiple times. What's the latest on Bolden's status? Uh, as of yesterday, he was he was out. I am I am, I am talking to him today. That's a solid. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How do you keep these guys from repeating some of the same mistakes that you keep seeing over and over? And that's, guess Obviously, that's I'm not doing very well. did some things against Texas Tech that you, know, you learn not to do in grade school. You don't throw a two-hand chest to pass three people. You know? so, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know sometimes what, they, what goes through their minds. Uh, they actually haven't been bad practice. I mean, we haven't had Has that been the most disappointing thing for you? I just can't seem to figure out a way to get these guys to be more consistent. Well, I think the most disappointing thing is when you when you look back at it, we opened the conference season with Texas Tech and we turned it over 22 times. We, we, we shoot 50% from the foul line and we lose by two. Now, if we correct either one of those, we, we're one and all in the league at the time. Then we go to Kansas State and we're up 21. And we give that one away. And we lose that one at the end. You know, Oklahoma State here. You, you, you look at the games that we could have, should have won, and all of a sudden you look and say, you know, I mean, we got five or six wins now. We're, we're in the middle of this thing. And we just have not closed games. We didn't, we could have closed the Buffalo game, the first game of the year. All we got to do is make a free throw. We don't make one. All we got to do is get one stop. We don't get a stop. You know, it, it's just been, it's been a year that, of, I guess, near misses. You know, we're, we're not, you look at our record and you think that's a bad team. We're not as bad as our record shows. We should be a much, we should be a much better team. In talking to a couple of uh, your former players that mentioned how you aim to develop good, pe good people, not just basketball players, can you talk about how that mindset started for you? That's how I was raised. What was that? That's how I was raised. Um, you know, it's a lot. It, it's kind of like, you know, it's sort of like Christmas, you know what I mean? You, it, 
I get a whole lot more fun out of watching them open the presents that I give them than I do open the presents they gave me. Yeah, I think it's more fun to give than receive. So, yeah, I think that's that's the basic premise behind it. Yeah, I would uh, I wouldn't even have to put a bow on. You know, if you win tomorrow and Oklahoma State loses, you catch them, so you start you start working your way back into this a little bit. Is that how you approach it? We're not going to settle with being ninth. I mean, when you when you look at the league and how many games there are, I mean, there's opportunities there. We we just we've got to, we've got to win. I mean, it's, it's it's simple. We can't keep giving games away, and we have given games away. We, we uh, the games where we've had 15 or less turnovers, we pretty much won. The games when we shot, you know. 70 percent or better from free throw line, we pretty much won, and those are things that are correct. Those are things that you can come in here and spend time at and get better. You know, the other thing you look at here too is, is you get past this one, you got a week, you had what three games in ten days. You had a really tough stretch here, a lot of travel too. But to put it mildly, the schedule maker hasn't been kind. <laughs> We get back from Bobby. I stayed to recruit, but they got back. My wife walked in, in the house at 5 15. But hey, it's ridiculous. Uh, I understand TV and all that, but I mean, you got to tell TV at some point in time. Man. You can't play my cop game. And Bobby's going to have to come back and play again. Well, consequently, you got these one game flips. You can't even work on problems. You're on to the next scout in the next game. You can't even really fix what you did the day before because you're already moving on to the next team. You've had to do that a couple I mean, of You're going to have Saturday Mondays. I mean, right. that's, that's college basketball. I think everybody understands that. But you know, I, honestly, I honestly think, I mean, everybody who comes in here, Lon, Lon Kruger says, I don't know how you do this. I have no idea. He said, We do it one time. And, he said, we, we always ask for a Saturday afternoon game. Well, we asked to play two when we weren't in school so we could cut down on the travel, we could stay out there. You know, I can't, I, can't, I can't ask our guys to play Saturday and then we play again on Thursday. We're going to stay out there until Thursday. I can't do that. You know, it, it, and, and, you know, we've had as high a grade point average as anybody in the league. I think we've led the league in grade point, in, in, in grade point average in spite of all of this. So, and it's because we do we do try we do come home after a game. But man, five five o'clock in the morning is that's rough. I, mean, I I don't care who you are or, or what you do. That's rough. Uh, but you, you can catch your breath a little bit after you, after the Texas game. You got a week before Kansas. You got an opportunity maybe to get you know, on the better side of it to maybe work on some things. Or, yeah, well, John, we got back. We got back after the Texas Tech game on Monday at five o'clock. And I just, obviously, you can't do anything on Tuesday. So Tuesday's out. So Wednesday, Wednesday, we just had some issue. We practice yesterday. We practice today. And then, you know, the same kind of thing. We're not going to do anything on Sunday. I don't know what we're going to do next week. Yet, that kind of so, you know, what happens? You know, what kind of feel I have? What, what they're doing? You know, have you gotten rid of the flu with the guys? Is that all through the team yet? Uh, I, uh, I think so. I think they gave it to me. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I took it away from them. I took it away. That's a present you don't want to open. No. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> hey, we were just happy you weren't there to give it to us yesterday. I uh, know. Should have seen Tony. Tony was sitting on the other side of the table last night at the He's radio. Jerry. He wanted me to put a wool cap on. Listen to this. Man. A wool cap, put a wool cap on, and just sit there and sweat. He said that'll cure. <laughs> that'll yeah. cure it? Yeah. A wool cap. Yeah. Might, might medicine miracles. Yeah. <laughs> he had people in the green room.
bad. Nice that it? Yes, yeah. sir. Feeling better. Thanks.